Welcome to the Whiskey Jug, the only whiskey show on the internet that refuses to shave even when it's not November. My name is Josh, and today we are doing the last glass review of the Eagle Rare Single Barrel. So, Eagle Rare is a really interesting brand. It's been around since kind of 1975, and it's been passed around a lot since then. Um, uh, various brands have owned it, and, it, and finally ended up uh, getting a home, a, as far as we know, permanent home, in uh, with the Sazerac company. So, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is uh, actually who makes this. And, so, and if you look on the back here, this is made in the Buffalo Trace uh, distillery in Frankfurt. So this is the actual same distillery that Buffalo Trace is made in. It's a 10-year Buffalo Trace. Now, unlike a lot of you know the regular Eagle Rare that you see out there, this one is a single barrel that was picked up. As you can see this sticker right here. Single barrel picked up by Valley Beverage Company here in uh, Los Angeles. Barrel number one, it says. I don't know how reliable that is, but yeah, single barrel, hand selected by Valley, Valley Beverage Company uh, here in Los Angeles. So, so this is going to be a little bit different of an experience than the regular Eagle Rare, but the one of the nice things about companies that do things a certain way, where they have products that actually they put a lot of care and attention to the single barrels, while they do change, and I'd say there's probably, I don't know, if you're putting it on a point scale, you know, here's the regular, and then there's probably maybe, you know, three or four up and down kind of area for what the single barrels do, maybe a three-point variance or something like that. It's not a whole lot different. I mean, I, I have gotten a funky barrel of uh, Four Roses once of the single barrel, but it still wasn't terrible. It was just kind of below what some of their other stuff puts out, but still not horrible. And that's kind of what you're going to get with some of these really good brands like this, like Eagle Rare. Their single barrels are still going to be a really good representation of Eagle Rare. Speaking of, let's take a little sniffy sniff and see what's happening here. So good. Um, just wow. So caramel, uh, bourbon spice, butterscotch, raisins. There's a little bit of a rye kick. Uh, brown sugar, there's some uh, some mint in there, molasses, uh, just really, really good. This is one that started out uh, pretty good, and then as it aged, notice that some of the caramel, the cinnamon, the dark fruit really started to come up in it quite a bit. Some of the rye spice expressed a little more, and raisins, I and mean, that's that's to me was one of the weird things about this one is I've never had a bourbon that was quite as raisiny as this one and that's not actually a bad thing because it's still it adds a nice dark fruit quality to it adds a nice uh, new element to it that's not typically found in a lot of bourbons and it actually plays really well in there to be a little bit raisiny uh, the palate. oh fantastic you got the caramel got the dark fruit cinnamon, there's brown sugar, honey, there's anise, a little bit of biscuity quality to it, corn, some wood. It's just, uh, it's a really rich flavor in there. It has a lot of great quality. So again, there is some of that raisinness in there. It's not super prevalent. It's And it has gone down just a little bit on the palate. Meanwhile, the same, the caramel, cinnamon, dark fruit, some of that stuff's come up a little bit more. The spices become a little bit more expressive as it's gone down. It's really interesting to see how oxygen interacts with your whiskey. I and mean, it, it, it's a fun experiment to try for yourself. Like uh, take your notes when you first open the bottle. And then what I do is just like, you know, every quarter, half, three quarter, and then empty, take new notes again and just compare them. See how things have changed as it's gone. Because uh, unless you're drinking the bottle within just like you buy it, drink it in a month and it's gone. If it's something where you have a couple bottles on the shelf and maybe they last you six months, seven months, eight months, a year, whatever whatever it is, whatever the case may be, then then 
you know, it's kind of worth it. It's fun to, to see how things change. So you don't really think about whiskey changing in the bottle because it doesn't age in the bottle. It, but it does oxidize. That does change. The more oxygen is pronounced to. And so having gone way off track, I'm going to pull this back and we're going to take a look at the finish. More of that caramel, uh, corn, dark fruit, wood. There's a good mint to it. A little bit of that raisiny has come in there, but a uh, little, little spice here for the wood. Um, yeah, just phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. It's something that I love, love wholeheartedly. And uh, it's something that, this is again one of the ones that I keep in my house pretty much consistently. It's just phenomenal. It's cheap enough that using it in, in, to make good cocktails, it doesn't feel like a waste. It's a really, really good one. And it's one that I rarely, rarely don't have in the house. Um, and I actually had someone ask, uh, comment about that the other day saying, oh, you can say that, but you don't know, you know, how do we know you actually have you know, the stuff in your house. Well, sir, how's that? Just barely opened this one today. Um, had a little taste of it. So this is the regular uh, Eagle Rare bottle. So as you can see, there's no real difference to it other than that silver um, sticker. So how about we do little bit of a head-to-head. -head. We've got the, the single barrel there as it's going out and we've got the standard issue right here. Fresh, fresh bottle. We'll do a little little side-by-side -side here, huh? So, pretty similar color. This one seems to, the single barrel seems to be just a little bit darker. Uh, not by much though. They're very, very similar, which you would expect. Yep, all those great flavors we just, aromas we just talked about. Now let's do this one. So on this one, I'm actually getting a lot more spice before the caramel. A little bit of the rye, bourbon spice. Even little bits of the wood that are coming up a little bit higher than the caramel. They're kind of like the wood and the, the, the caramel are kind of neck and neck in there. Not getting a whole lot of vanilla. Some, a little bit of citrus. Good amounts of that dark fruit, you know, strawberries, cherries. I kind of almost overripe heading that direction where they've got almost a meatiness to them. Yeah, and that's a great, great nose. This one's definitely, you know, spicier. Um, I mean, sorry, a little more caramely. It's got a little bit more of the raisins in there. This one definitely doesn't have any of that raisiny quality to it. So, about so on the palate, you got some good caramel in there. You got some good. Honey, brown sugar, toffee. The vanilla again is very subdued on this one. It's uh, none of the real biscuity qualities that I'm getting off of the single barrel. It's got um, give it a little taste. Now that spiciness is in there. Uh, it's really good. The caramel is really subdued in this. It's coming off a little, little watery. The caramel compared to the super rich caramel that's coming across in here. None of the anise that I'm getting in this one. Um, still really, really good though. I, you know, it still pegs this one in the upper 80s without hesitation. Finish is much more of a watery caramel butterscotch, a little bit of spice, not a lot of wood, and definitely no raisiny qualities at all compared to the single barrel. Definitely getting a, a richer caramel, a little bit of more wood, some mint. So you, definitely a difference. Uh, and this is also something that's 
fun to do besides you know tracking bottles down. If you have the opportunity to get a single barrel and taste it next to the standard to see those differences to see you know they take all of these you know massive quantities of single barrels and blend them all together to make this it's fun to see what some of these core components like what does a single barrel that goes into the larger blend to make this taste like so it's really good to see that and see some of those interesting new characteristics um you know i i really come to like eagle rare when i the first time i had eagle rare was like 2004 2005 kind of time frame so you know like a good 10 years ago was the first time i had eagle rare and I did not like it. It came across really, really hot, really spicy. It came across really potent. It wasn't something that I enjoyed a lot. It actually took me two years to drink through uh, the bottle that I bought back then in like 04, 05, and I just had a really hard time getting through it. It just it just was not nearly as smooth, wasn't as flavorful. I remember it having just a really sharp quality to it. And not in the good way, like stabbing. Like it just did not like it. But this stuff now, what what they've what Buffalo Traces turned Eagle Rare into has really, really become a delicious, delicious whiskey. And so, circling back to the single barrel, since that's the uh, empty glass we're looking at today, I originally scored it an eighty-seven, and I think it's a good score. But going back through my notes, quarter bottle it just started exploding. It just started getting a, l a lot richer, a lot deeper. Halfway through the bottle, this thing just blossomed. Uh, some of the kind of weird biscuity notes pretty much vanished completely. There's still just a little hints of them in there, though for all I know, that could all be psychosomatic because I expect them to be there, but they are a little bit very light. But they got the whole whiskey coming down between that quarter and half mark just got richer, deeper, fuller so it really opened up with the oxygen and by the end of it it's now I mean, this is without a doubt better than the standard issue there's just no way about it just hands down it's better and for that I'm actually gonna raise it two whole points originally gave it an 87 we're gonna leave this off with its final score Stupid eight. There you go. We're gonna leave this final score for the Valley Beverage Company single barrel Eagle Rare at an 89. Now I would recommend going out and grabbing yourself a regular Eagle Rare because it is phenomenal stuff. And if possible, if one of your local bottle shops uh, participates in the single barrel programs, pick that up. Just do the side by side and track them both all the way down. Put them on the shelf and go with them. There's fun experiment and it's a really good way to learn more about the bourbon that you're drinking and really dig into it. But uh, with that, this is the Whiskey Jug. I'm Josh, Eagle Rare, uh, Valley Beverage Company Single Barrel. Cheers.